Welcome back to Great Squadron Gaming. We have another exciting episode in our Star Wars so Legion pumped. Battle Report. Had to put myself before this one, guys, because I am definitely not tired at all today. Long day at work. Anyway, so we got a great match tonight um, in our Discord chat, which if you're not part of Discord, you're joining in, in our, specifically our Commander Patreon. Um, our General Patreons get to do that. General Patreons, but the Commander Patreon who gave me this list. That's true. Yeah, I, oh, we were, he was saying, uh, no, we haven't played this list yet. I'm like, oh, if you make me Rebels, I'll play it. We only have Empire still in the pipeline from you guys, so give us a different list. And he gave me this list, so I'm playing it. If only would. It is Mr. Gideon, I mean, excuse me, it's a Rebel, the Rebel um, Commander, Rebel Officer. I call him Gideon because if you guys play Imperial Assault, you know, you know. Yeah, but you can't do that anymore because I have a I know, because it's real Gideon. That Sorry, messes bro. everything up. But I'm all screwed. Can't, can't stop. <clears throat> Anyways, Rebel Officer has electric binoculars and no connections. I have Din, my boy Din, with the jetpack, the spear, prepared supplies, up close to personal, and Hunter with Grogu, of course. We have Boba Fett. Boba Fett! He's got Hunter, up close personal, prepared supplies, and Boba's flame projector. We've got two inch Rebel Troopers. One has Impact Grenades, Rebel Trooper, and a Z6. The other one has Impact Grenades, Rebel Trooper, and the DLT. One unit of veterans with the Rebel Veteran Situation Awareness and the CMO-93 Trooper. One Mark II Minion Blaster Trooper with HQ Uplink. Two ATRTs, one with the Laser Cannon, one with the Rotary Blaster. So kind of interesting that he gave us this before Don told anyone we were going to proxy some Dark Troopers. Oh, spoiler, we're proxying some Dark Troopers tonight. Um, and he kind of gave me some impact, so that was kind of nice. I appreciate that, no, Paul. that was not kind of nice. Thanks for looking that out. That was rude. But, speaking of our Commander patrons and our Patreon general, big shout out to all our patrons. Thank you guys so much. You're the reason we get to do this weekly, and we appreciate you. Special shout out to the Commander level. Uh, Joe, by the way, Joe's list is being played by Paul Jorgensen. Being uh, played? <clears throat> he's playing it? Well, he sent it. Never mind. Anyhow, <laughs> <clears throat> thanks to Jason Nikacek, Dan Dubak, Jamal Alahadi, Mitchum Ernst, Alex Bingham, Michael Klein, Caleb Rogers, Anthony Johnson, Anthony Minerva, Steve Sneed, Asaf, Justin Moat, Just David, Thomas Trotman, James Wood, Sam Page, Andre Moskop, Kev Powell, Gregory Williams, Eli Kaywood, Cam Nickel, Howard Robinson, Two High to Die, Anthony Bonomo, Kazran, and Zach Attack. Zach. Huge thank you to all of you guys. We appreciate all of the things you do for us and all of your female feedback and comments and all that stuff in our Discord. So if you are interested in becoming a Patreon, links are below. Find out all the fun things. There are doing. some new goodies added to the tiers, um, mainly around the polling idea. So if you're in our Discord and you're a Patreon of any level, we will ask questions before the game that will dictate, like for instance, I asked, would you guys rather see a game on Hoth, Genosis, or Indoor? And uh, it was somewhat close between Indoor and Genosis, but it ran away with it. Don threw Felucia out there, which I don't know why, because we don't have a Felucia map. But so we're playing on Genosis. I was being rude. He was. Um, with that said, we had a couple questions about, are we going to be at Adepticon? Yes, we will be at Adepticon. I will most likely be there just Saturday and Sunday due to a work travel trip. I think Don will be there most days. I will be there most days. I'm going to do the, the LGQ and, and try to get into the World Tournaments. But as you know, that I am not good at this game. So <laughs> it's basically just going to be me paying a lot of money to, to play three games and lose. But I will be there with buttons and J-squared stuff and all that stuff to give out. So if you see me, I will be wearing the gray Squadron gaming shirt. The one he's looking at and pointing to right now. Yes, I can't see him. I, I mean not pointing to him. But yes, come say hi. I will be there more than likely Sunday with Don playing in the team tournament. So if you're in the team tournament, playing the team Prepare events. Prepare to lose. What are we playing? Um, Maybe. If Don okay. rolls her dice, it'll be a lot of blanks. So if you want an easy win. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's going to be the sole dice roller of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check out Don's list. All right, and for my list tonight, you're going to see a lot of proxying. I am running Moff Gideon, who is just going to be wearing a white cape today instead of a black one. Uh, he's going to be Krennic. Um, he's got commanding presence and his dark saber. I have IG-88 just with Hunter. I have two units of dark troopers. Uh, one unit is going to be the programmed loyalty um, with an extra dark trooper and the assault cannon. And then the second unit has the frag launcher, the metalizer, and an additional dark trooper. Uh, the... B2s are going to be taking place of the Dark Troopers as of now. And then I have four units of Naked Stormtroopers. Uh, I came in at 795. Joe came in at 794. So he is going to be blue. We're going to take a look at his cards and see how we're going to play this game. And these are the giveaways for tonight. The giveaways have been on for a few weeks now. We've got these awesome exclusive tokens from Curled Paw. What makes these exclusive to our channel, you ask? Well, they're mirrored. They're printed on a mirrored acrylic instead of the regular. So they have a nice mirrored reflections and they look really cool um a couple of our commander patreons when they hit their one year mark we've got this in their surprise box shout out to dan and jason thank you guys you get um the full set of the bounty tokens and you get a eight pack of the new suppression tokens there's three of those so three people win those one each also paul who i'm playing his list tonight yep. gave us some cards a while back they gave away a couple i don't know a couple months ago here's a couple more now chewy and Vader. they look awesome so comment below if you'd like to win those the word of the day is 
I don't know, Dark Trooper? What can Dark we Trooper that? sounds good. Dark Trooper? Until we adjust it later, I guess. What's what's Gideon's two-pip called? No. You have something I want. That's not very good news. You have something I want. Put put something about Dark Troopers in the comment, and you get you get double entries. Okay, here's our cards for the night. I am going to try to show less sponsors each video, so that way we decrease in the sponsor time, because someone was mad at me about that, so. One person really <laughs> affected Joe a lot here, guys. If you are that one person, just know that Joe thinks about you often. <laughs> These are Paul's cards he picked out, shuffled them up, randomly distributed them. I am blue player, which sounds weird. I get the first pick. Um, he doesn't like Minefield, but, you know, with, with Rebel Troopers, I'm not a big fan of Minefield either. So let's just, uh, in the last game, if you watched last week's game with Cad's Bomb, it didn't really roar my way, with even with Bobo with the Dodge. So we're just going to flip that over. That's fair. Um, I think we're going to get rid of Hostage. I don't need to exchange any hostages. It's a payload, huh? Payload, payload. Payload advance helps you get your people closer. Yeah, you should leave that. I don't really need Dark Troopers closer to me. Um, I feel like I'm kind of happy with the current. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass? I'm going to pass. So we're playing Clear Conditions. Payload. We've actually played a fair amount of payload recently. It's yeah, kind of interesting. Danger Close. We were really close to doing like a Clear Supply, which I thought you were going to go for a second. No, Supply doesn't really help my Dark Troopers much. Mm -hmm. Can't fix them. I don't want you to heal your Rebels, so. That's true. You cannot fix Dark Troopers. They're nope. fixable. Unfixable. Look through the board, check it out. Welcome to round one, where I went with standing orders because I'm standing on the orders. And he went with independent independent program, which is IG88. Each time IG88 is issued an order, he gains one aim. And IG88 gains independent dodge. So permanent, get some cool keywords. Here's our map. Like I said, Geonosis is one of the votes on the Patreon Discord, so here's where we are. We got one, two new stormtroopers, an IG, and a unit. This is That's the close range. Don might have added the sword to the one that has the actual dark <laughs> trooper there. So let's show that way we know which unit's <laughs> what. That's some of his. So the rest of his forces are down here. We have uh, definitely not Krennic. It's definitely Gideon. With some stormtroopers, this is the other unit. This is the unit with the range, range three gun, three gun but yeah. no other heavy, just one. Stormtroopers in there, says Cart. My side, I have... The rotary blaster and the laser cannon with Din and Grogu ready to face down those people. And up here, I got some vets, officers, rebel troopers, and Boba. My card's there. He has to come to this because it can be overlapping a deployment, but it can't be fully in it. So I couldn't choose this or this. I had to choose that. So I chose that. Got the sweet slave one that Boba just landed in. And then he went way this way. So there's my car over there by dawn. And I have to come over to these Imperial shipping containers. With that said... Math says a two pip beats a four pip. Shouldn't be going first. Before I do though, very quickly, we got cool plot tokens. GSG twelve gets you twelve percent off. Look at all these awesome. That's not GSG tokens. The rest of them. <laughs> we got these awesome tokens. Oh, here's our new victory tokens. I think we showed them off last week, but if we haven't, they're right there. Um, markers, etc. These are double sided with ones and threes. This is double sided also with ones and threes. Check them out. GSG twelve. If you want a holder for them, this awesome holder that I'm using is made by J squared. This holder right here that holds your templates, and you can just push down and pop all your stuff out. It's also hold by Jay Square. Check them out, linked below. With that said, let's get started. All right, starting off with my stack here, it is going to be one of our heavies. I don't have four heavy tokens, so this support is substituting as one of them. He has no supports on this list, so it works yep. perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a speed one move here. Um, they are speed one. They also have plotting, which means they can only move once per activation. So we're going to go ahead and go with a move up here, and then we are going to take a shot into these rebel troopers so we'll go to the ice box and see what we can do how dare you all right so i don't have range on any of my heavies yet so it's just going to be their naked black dice each, one black dice for each model six models six black dice no surges no nothing you're looking at two joe two two you say oh, that's two, two dead rebel troopers after his shot i'm choosing to pop a standby token of thumbo for independent standby I didn't pop it before he shot. Well, happily because I forgot. Also because I'm just doing it now. So we'll pop the standby. <laughs> we'll shoot that. And we'll come on back to the game board. <laughs> we've got three black dice. We've got serious to crit. We've got Pierce one. Sharpshoot won't matter because they can't have cover. Uh, yeah. Ooh, one, one Pierce crit, one. Pierce one. So first wound on the Dark Trooper. Whoop, whoop. Hunter kicks in from here on out. Well, kind of. It's a one die. Yep. Have to have that wound token out for Hunter, as you guys know. Look at my stack. We've got... My Gideon, a.k.a. Rebel Officer. Um, he does have Take Cover, which he will give out within range one. So let's give these Rebel Troopers a dodge. They're so nice and dodgy. And then we also have Spotter because of my Electro Binoculars. And you know what? 
Good and boys. You just, you just got Christmas all over those Rebel Troopers. Yeah, they enjoyed it. All right, sounds great. All right, I'm going back to my stack here. It's going to be a core. We're going to go with the Black Stormtroopers over here. Joe is going a little crazy, guys. So we're just going to pop over there, take a dodge. That'll be them. You said you were going to wrap around. There was no wrapping done. I wrapped. I'm a little disappointed. I wrapped around, bro. Went to my stack. We pulled an operative. But we already used a standby, so why not use Mr. Boba Fett? They have a wound token, which we tundered up. Sure do. Years. So with that mind, I don't really... Usually I want to get... Boba into the things with flamethrowers and gaffy sticks, but look at that blue giant sword he's holding. That's a little intimidating from my standpoint. He's ready to metalize. So I think bro. I'm just gonna take a dodge and then shoot, and I'll get my free aim from the wound dodge. that you have on you with Hunter. Hunter aim and shoot. All right, let's go to the box. Oh yeah, I got three black dice again. We just did this a second ago because of a standby. Dude, get in. Surge crit, Pierce one. Sharpshooter won't matter. I got the free aim because Hunter, because he has a wound token out. Let's do it. So far, it's nothing. So we'll spend the aim on these two. Hoping for a surge or an anti-crit. We got one. Ooh, so another, one Pierce one, which means the first the model's first down. down. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the stack here. It's a heavy. We'll go with these guys uh, before they get shot up wait, even wait, more. Wait, 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 wait. Sir, oh, you already went with them. How are That's you right. doing that? Because Imperial Dark Troopers are unstoppable. Unstoppable's new keyword for all you folks who aren't following along with all the, all the updates and the releases. Um, they're not officially out yet. They'll be out very soon. By the time the video drops. I don't know. Anyway, so here's where it is. Unstoppable reads. This unit is is um, eligible to activate during the activation phase while it has one or fewer tokens when creating an order pool. You have two order tokens. Correct. So that's why he's doing it again. So that's why I get to activate them again. It's a two for one special here. So we are gonna continue moving them up here. And that will put us just into range two. Sword doesn't work from that range no still, sword, but, but his gold grenade launcher does. Yeah, it's a grenade so launcher, will, right? It is a grenade launcher. Not a rocket launcher like a lot of us Not think. a rocket launcher. It is a frag launcher. So it Ooh. launches the grenades. Frag grenades. We didn't talk about, so real quick, um, all the bigger terrain buildings and vehicles are heavy. Any spire that looks like it's broken, broken, or thin, and all these little scattered things are light. Just want to make sure that they call that out real quick. With that said, let's go watch them shoot my rebel troopers. All right, so we got four blacks for our normal guys and then two reds and a black for our frag launcher. It does have blast, so that light cover from the suppression is gone. And you That's are looking at a much healthier roll of five. Well, I have four troopers left in that unit, so this is probably a dead unit of troopers. But you know what? YOLO, maybe we roll a whole bunch of dodges here. You very well could. You did. No, you I still, just I the still one lose you, four. Yep, you lost. Look at my stack. We've got a nice support here. We've got this lovely ATR with this laser cannon. that happens to have an impact of three. I think Super our first action is to take this sweet say. aim right here. And we're going to dial this. Whoop, and we're going to shoot those guys. I think you should shoot the stormtroopers. I'm good. They're much more impact impactful here. I mean, you have a dodge. You'll, unless I roll natty crit, you'll be able to cancel it before the impact. But at least two will get through. That's okay, it. the laser cannon is a range up to range four gun with a uh, red, black, black, impact three. The ATR team, the rebel sides are just a crit. Everything else about the ATRT Republic has a better version, but we're Rebel Surge of Crit, so that's nice. That's, that, that is nice. It is nice. Oh, wow. Well, you know, I think we that's... actually use for this aim, because if we get anything, um, you get to you get to dodge it. If I get a True. crit or a um, surge, you can't dodge it. We just right, dodge yeah, it before you back dodge that. <laughs> Didn't even need the impact on that roll, guys. So we do roll red. We do not surge, though. Oh, you're we'll fine. block them both. We'll block them both. Before, before you cut, uh, in case people don't know, the impact... He was after dodge and cover. They can't have cover. He had a dodge. He was able to spend his dodge on the hit before it turned into a crit from the impact. Just so you know Correct. timings. Yep. All right, going to the stack here. It's going to be a core. We're just going to take these purple stormtroopers. They're going to do a double move. So they're going to go here. They're going to go over here. They got a, they got a payload. They got to try to stop a little bit later. So they're going to start working and going that way. Hi, Defender. This is a nice Defender. I love that ship. Go to my stack. My other operative, which is Mr. Din right here. Mr. Din and Grogu. Grogu's enjoying a nice hot cup of java. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little frog mixed in there. Who knows? We've got uh, speed three because of my jetpack upgrade. So I'm trying to think how I want this to happen in my head. We've got these advancing dark troopers on me, but Din, Din's not scared of them. Din, I think, is going to jetpack over these guys because I, mean, I usually can't cross them. He was pretty scared of them. I think we're going to come to about here, maybe. Kind of just little just kind of hide a little bit back there. Which will give me a free aim for my tactical. And I think we're just going to shoot him and hope for some nice surges like Boba had. All right. Moving and shooting some dark troopers. Okay. I've got two aims. One for my independent and one for my tactical movement. Tactical one. Um, my gun is range two. Versatile. Pierce one. Pierce one or lethal? It's uh, lethal. It's lethal, right? Lethal. Lethal one. Yeah. 
Um, long shot one. We're gonna use long shot. We're gonna spend the aim to make it a range three gun because I'm definitely not range two yet. That's true. Now we're gonna shoot. Searching to hit natively. Let's see what we can get. We got one. I'm trying to think if I want to make this lethal, guys. Or I want to be rolling risks. I would need crits or surges only. Oh, I think I'm just going to make it Pierce 1. One Pierce 1 yeah. sounds like a good plan. All right, I'm going to go to my stack here. It's going to be my other heavy. They already have a face up order token, but the order rules are if they had a face down, I couldn't give them another one. So we'll give them that order. Uh, they're going to take an aim, and they're going to shoot Din, who just shot at them, and we'll see what happens. For the face down, you can't give them another. I don't think you said that right. So. so if they have a face up, I can't give, or it doesn't matter that they have a face up. If they had a face down... Never mind. Yeah, Shoot. you still Shoot. didn't say it. Right? It sucks. It, the, the ruling just it says if they have a face in order, one or fewer, you can activate them still because they're the only unit in the game that can have two orders out at the time, if you will. With that said, let's go to the next one. Grogu's doing that ham thing, y'all. I figure this is a good time to do it. I get two dodges um, from this card. I also have a dodge on Din and a dodge on Prince. So I just think they have four. But you know what the ham thing does? The ham thing says this card cannot be selected during the command phase. When a friendly unit in range one in the line of sight of Grogu is declared a defender against the range attack, let me discard this card from your hand. If you do, the defending unit gains two dodges tokens and gains deflect during this attack. So let's see if we can deflect some back with Grogu doing his hand thing. I don't like that. Uh, so I'm going to use the, uh, the heavy, which is four blacks, critical one, and then our regular four units. So that's an additional four blacks. So we've got eight blacks, critical one with an aim. And I don't think he, do you have cover? I don't think so. Does Grogu count for cover? I don't think so because he's tiny. Uh, so this is going to be our critical, and then we'll spend the aim on these two. <laughs> and you are looking at all that, uh, four dodges, did you want to spend all Let me four? think, let me think, let me think. Okay, it took a minute to think about it. I'm going to spend both of the new Grogu dodges that just got me, that takes away two. I'm going to spend the dodge on himself. I think I'm going to save the prepared supply. We'll see if that bites me in the butt and keep it at four. I do have, um, I natively surge the block, but for this one, if I, any surges I roll is deflecting back at him. Sure. See what we can roll. Come on, dude, give me that sweet money, money, money. Okay, right, well, two yeah. wounds, two no wounds. surges. I'll take that. Two wounds, no surges. That's, 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 no, that's a thing that happens. Sure. Check my stack. We got a core. Well, the only core left alive that doesn't have an order are these guys. They have an aim and dodge from their good buddy. They're going to take another aim, and we're going to unload on those uh, lovely... My dark troopers, oh no! Okay, we got two aim tokens. I have five black dice for the fire rebel troopers in this unit. Six whites for the Z6. We're really just looking for crits, guys, so that's all we're trying to get because they have armor. I have nothing with impact except for grenades. We're way too far to throw those. True. Sure. We got tiny arms. Holy crap. I think I see six, Holy six crap. crits, though. So these Rebel Troopers came to play, guys. Um, what is that? I don't know. Ask Dan about last week's game of the game store. Something similar happened. Um, so we'll spend the first game on these two. More than half of your dice ended up as a crit? We'll spend the second game. Let's see if we can get a couple more. I'm just curious if this is a regular trooper. Can I go max out? Oh, there's another one. Um, I only blinked on one dice. This is not This is not right. These are Rebel Troopers. Don't you know in this game, Rebel Troopers are the best offensive. What just happened? Depends on your defense roll if you're salty or not. <laughs> Let's not lie. If you roll six nanny blocks, you're going to feel fine. I mean, that. I guess, but I don't think I'm going to. I rolled three, so you that's... You lost two units. Oh, two, my God. Two dark troopers. All right, so I'm going to go back to my other dark troopers. They're going to go ahead and take a shot into uh, Din again. And then... Uh, oh, Din does have a suppression from that. He does not have oh, a Oh, I, I didn't give it. It's just hiding underneath this did, damage yes. token. Like, I'm good. And then they're just going to move straight up here. So move and shoot? Shoot and or then shoot move moves. Is so that... that I don't give you any additional cover. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. Yep. I have one dodge left from Prepared Supply. I probably will use this round, um, but we'll see. All right, so it's the same eight black dice. Ding, ding, ding. He does have a dodge and light cover now. And he's a dodge in his prepared supplies. Oh, if I surged, that would be great. Oh, it's critical one. Right? Yeah. One, so from one for cover, cover and all, one for all, all, a dodge. So you're looking at three, buddy. Three left, three left, three left, three left. Let's roll some good paint. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Grogu's dead already. Grogu's dead. But anyway, it makes up for the dark troop. We're fine. That's, I guess, a good switch. For my stack, we've got this other ATRT. This one doesn't have a laser cannon. He's got a rotary blaster. But we'll still uh, we'll still move him up. Moving on up. We'll do the full movement, yeah. We'll come to about here just to... Sounds good. He, this one doesn't have any... So we'll just shoot some black dice for switching the crit. Are those uh, dark troopers? I think so, but I'm kind of now. I'm kind of just like contemplating things. It's true. There, there are some juicy stormtroopers you could shoot at if you'd like. No, let's, let's keep hammering the dark troopers. Sounds great. Okay, it's five black dice. Um, no keywords on the gun, but he does have surge to crit natively against armored um, dark troopers. We do get one. Right, Not one what you want to see. A dark trooper. Trooper. Yeah, we'll 
They'll block that one. Thank you. All right, we're going to go to the stack here. It's a unit of the Stormtroopers. These guys are just going to double move. So one. We're going to hop right over their purple friends here. And that will be them. Okie doke. We're with the veterans at this point. The veterans are going to uh, steal Dawn's movement template because mine's on the other side of the table. We're going to come to about here. Which Stupid definitely danger close makes us play in weird places. Puts me at range four of them, so we'll, range four. we'll reco here and we'll shoot our um, critical two gun and see if we can do some damage. Sounds great. It's just four white dice, but it is critical two. I use surge to hit. The surge to hit doesn't matter because he's armor, so I need the surge. I need the criticals or nata, natty crits. Yeah, just one natty crit, I guess. That will go through. So that's one wound on one of the heavies. Right, we're going to the stack here. It's another core. We're going to go with the. Uh, the Nike Red Core over here, they're just going to move up and they'll take a dodge. And that'll be them. Oop, oop. Mark II's kind of got nothing going on at the moment, so he's going to move up for his first action. Moving. Move up for his second action, I believe. Double moving. Yep, and then we will uh, use our free tree position to kind of go like that. All right, move and move. Last thing in my stack is going to be Gideon himself. Nothing super exciting for him to do this round. He's only got a range two gun. Um, so we're just going to double move right up to this little rock here, and that will be him. Uh, I could put out a free observation token, but I have nothing yet left to shoot. So We're going to go ahead and go with IG now. He is just going to move up his speed too, and then we're going to take our shot uh, into Mr. Boba Fett, just with the range 4 gun, with an aim, and we'll see what happens. Boba Fett! All right, so just the range 4 gun, which is two blacks and a white, I searched to crit. He's getting heavy cover from the bomb card, so we're just looking for crits and surges, basically, at this point. Uh, we'll spend the aim on these two. Two crits. And no situational, awareness. situational awareness on Boba this time, unfortunately. Paul, next time, sir, situational awareness will be great. Staple it. Okay, oh, yeah. so I'm just going to roll some red dice. Well, there he, he goes on He's a roll, right. unlike Mando. He's all right. Mando turned his belly to you. He's like, look yeah, at my pretty belly. It's, it's a nice belly. <laughs> Poor Grogu. End of round one. Donald's getting a little salty for just a second when his uh, when my rebel troopers rolled a whole bunch of crits. But, you know, at least his guys rolled some defense. They still have half a unit left, whereas Mando had to throw Grogu into the fire and still only have one left. So that's unfortunate for me. I lost mm -hmm. the full unit of rebel troopers as well. Um, dark troopers, attacking twice around hurts, guys. Other than that, we need to move the bomb cart to do that real quick, and we'll come back for round two. Round two, where I went, this is the way I played it early because, um, well, you know, Den's in a little bit of trouble. Uh, Den gains one dodge, well, that was a pretty easy card to read. Uh, he went with focus kill, and of course, he had to roll the block because that's not what Don does. Uh, it's a permanent upgrade. IG gains, um, when performing attack against a unit that has a target of a bounty key where that unit cannot spend tokens. If IG has wounds equal to or exceeding his health, he does not die essentially until the end of the phase, the round. There's IG with his order token. He did the um, retinue and our um, entourage. Entourage, that's what I'm looking for. The Imperial exclusive work at this point in the game still. I gave mine and didn't because I have to. He gained his dodge. Boba gained independent standby because he's Boba Fett. Um, and the bomb cards are there's one, there's two. Uh, he will go first. All right, and before Din gets to go, I'm going to go ahead and take a uh, aim and a shoot with the Dark Troopers again and see if we can't uh, put him down. Okay, All right, so it's going to be eight blacks, critical one. He's got light cover from his suppression and a dodge. He's got two aims. Let's see what we can do. That's a great start. Uh, we'll they, they've been rolling a little bonkers. Yeah, they've been rolling pretty good. We'll spend the aim on these guys. You left on my crits. You just almost did the same thing. We'll spend the aim on these guys. This is very true. All right, so cover's going to eat one. You're going to dodge one. So you are rolling for five? I think I may have heavy cover now that you moved up. Oh, you're right. So cover elite two. Give me a little bit of a chance. There you go. We got no four. situation awareness anyways, so... Well, I get to spend you do spot. have to spend the dodge because cover would have. There's still at one. Oh, there was extra. Okay, let's spend it. Good, I got, I got to spend it. Okay, here's four. Um, we need didn't money to happen here, otherwise it's gonna be a quick game. No, it did not happen. Still only fifty percent. Okay, great. Okay, we're gonna my stack. We've got an ATRT. Um, it is the the rotary cannon one? I think we're gonna start with here. I think I might. Surgeon crit's nice, but I think I have a better shot shooting someone out in the open with no armor. Yeah, I think I'm going to aim when I'm going to shoot the Stormtroopers. Aiming and shooting some Stormtroopers. This is five black dice, surging the crit with an aim. He's got no cover with the Stormtroopers. Well, that would have been... Two oh, well. shots in my Dark Troopers, but it's five on the Stormtroopers. Too late now to, to, to apologize. So let's keep going. 
too late for the Oh, okay. Those There's are dead stormtroopers. All right, we're going to go over here. Oh, you just said you're going to do it. Yeah, the problem is you're going to shoot them, and you're going to kill the heavy before you activate it. I didn't even think of that until you just said that. Yeah, so, so we're not going to do what that, because I just gave Joe his own idea. We're just going to... Um, we're going to shoot Boba, and then we're going to move this way. So this is going to be after the shot. So as long as I don't blank on everything, he shouldn't be able to activate that stun thing. Okay. All right, so it's just two blacks and a white again with an aim. Do search to crit, so that's going to surge. We'll spend the aim on these two. That's another crit, so two crits into Boba. Can't spend my crit supplies because of his bounty. Yep. Uh, one hit. Would you take a wound? I'll oh, take okay. it. Put in my stack, we've got Mr. Commander Gideon here. We're going to... Token battery? Give them an aim. Electro binoculars, okay. And then we're going to start... Moving on up. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. You get him, in, get him in the fight here. All righty, moving up. All right, I went to my stack here. I got Mr. Gideon himself. He is going to go ahead and start uh, moving up this direction. Let's see if we can make sure. Oh, yeah, sight no problem there. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and free observe. We'll put the observation token on there. We got an aim from our tactical. And then uh, we'll take a shot into the Mark II. All right, so we've got uh, two blacks and one red for his pistol. It is Pierce 1. He does search to crit, and Sharpshooter will bring his heavy cover down to light. I have Sharpshooter 1. So that's a search to crit. We'll spend the aim token on these two blacks. And you're going to look at all three crits there, buddy. Okay, that's well, three Pierce still alive. 1. Look at my staff. We've got core. I think we're going to go with these guys. They were given an aim by their good buddy... The rebel officer Gideon. Um, no, no, not not fake, not real Gideon, fake Gideon. Yep. Moving up. I mean, you don't like that they're out in the open, but they need to start moving to get closer to their bomb cart. But more importantly, I have an aim. I have critical two. I kind of want to see if I can kill one of those dark troopers that have a. He's loom. got a good chance. Okay, so we've got four blacks for the uh, five blacks. Excuse me, five blacks because they have the extra trooper for the regular vets. Then we have four whites for the heavy. The heavy does add critical two. They have search it, which won't matter because it's armor. I have a name token from my lovely rebel officer giving me a spotter. True. Let's see what we can do. No crits so far, so that's no. a good start. No, I got that one good roll, and I think this game, guys, and I, it's been very downhill since then. I got that's one. That's the one, okay. Oh, just, just, just one. That's the one. You'll dodge it. That's what you. Oh, you nope. Did. So that is the sword heavy goes down. All right, so we're going to go over here. We went to the stack. We got a core. We're going to go with the red stormtroopers. They're going to pop up over here by Gideon. And they are going to take a shot into the, uh, the Mark II and see if we can't put it down. All right, so we got two whites. I'm sorry, four whites for the tall unit of rebel troopers into heavy cover. I do have There's one observation troopers. token. Stormtroopers, you're right. Sorry. I do have one observation token that I have available to spend. Uh, we'll spend it because we just need one crit to go through here. That is not a crit. Two hits. Both of them will go to cover. My stack has a core. We'll go with the injured guy here. He's got two suppressions. Let's give him a nice little rally. Ooh, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna keep both. So we're just gonna shoot. We shoot um, Gideon or some Stormies. The you, the heavy cover red surge to block Gideon for some reason, or do we shoot? We'll shoot, we'll shoot the stormtroopers. That makes sense. Okay, so we've got four black dice with uh, critical two in this gun and surging the hits. He has heavy cover with his stormtroopers. So one will get through. All right, one for my stormtroopers. That'll be all right. Just pressure. We're gonna go over here to the stack here. It's gonna be the purple. We're we're not going to do what I thought I'm going to do. I'm going to double move them over here. So we're going to move. And then another move just up to this piece of tie wreckage. And that's where they will stay. Okay. So we're stacking up my other ATRT. This is the leash can, so we're definitely going to aim and we're going to shoot into those guys. All right. Black, black, red, surging to crit natively. Impact three. He has armor and no cover. So he can't have cover. No cover for them, ever. We'll spend the aim on this one. And these will both impact because I have impact three. three. Crits this time. So you're looking at three rolls. One of these guys has a wound, so maybe we kill one. We kill one and put another wound on. Yeah, two wounds go through. We're going to go over here. It's going to be our first heavy over here. We'll go with these guys. They're just going to plod forward as dark troopers do. And they will uh, take a shot into the rebel troopers over here. Put a suppression on them, hopefully. Okay. 
You can these rebel troopers. All right, our grenade launcher is cycling right now, so I cannot use it. So it's just gonna be two black dice, naked, no surges, no nothing, into no cover rebels. But we'll take that all day, every day. Black dice have been pretty, pretty good. They've been pretty nice to me so far. Pretty good. Today. A block so one, block huh? one, one wound, and one suppression. We do a stack. We've got a core. We'll rally with them. We get one action. Ooh, one action. Oh, ooh, it's fine. Ooh. I'm gonna move up and help contest this. Alrighty. Gonna hide some people a little bit the best we can, and we'll call by the day. Sounds good. All right, going to stack here. It's another core. These stormtroopers are just gonna double move up here. One move. Make sure how far away. Get out there a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just move right up there, and that will be them. Okay. Go to my stack. We've got Boba. Um, he's got already three points contesting that, so that's not what you want to see. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Hail Mary play here. Sure. We're going to move up. We're going to um, get an aim tactical first off. Okay. Second off, we're going to tap his flamethrower. Okay. And Arsenal 2 and his gun. Okay. So I'm throwing five dice with blast, pierce one, and search to crit into your two remaining dark troopers. Let's do it. All right, normally I would not tap my flamethrower on a two uh, trooper unit, but he's got three to my two points there. So I got to use it to try to get some more numbers into this throw. So we got three black dice from his gun with pierce one, search to crit. Sharpshooter one won't matter, and I have two red dice from the flamethrower blast, which doesn't matter because they don't cover again. But it gives me a spray, which lets me have a red, one red per mini. Sure. I have surge to crit natively. We need some surges and some crits. or some natty crits here to have a chance at this. Nope. There's, a natty crit. There's no chance here. Okay. Right. So it's one pierce one, right? It's just one pierce one. So that's just a wound on our heavy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the stack. It's another uh, heavy. So we're going to go ahead and go with our dark troopers over here. There's just two of them left. Cycle did kick in at the end of their last activation. So now they have their frag launcher back. We're going to tap that, and we are going to take a shot into the veterans over there. Okay. And we're going to take it at the name. All right, so our heavy is two blacks. I'm sorry, two reds and a black, and then our additional black from our unit leader. And it is blast, so they don't have cover. They don't have cover anyway, but I have an aim. And we will spend the aim on this little guy. And we'll get a three. Save okay. one. All right, so going to my stack, my last activation is going to be the... Uh, Dark Troopers over here, we are going to move for their first action, and then with their second action, they will shoot into the friendly neighborhood, Mark II over there. This is a dead core, so they're... All right, so with one Dark Trooper down, we are now down to seven black dice with critical one, and you have heavy cover. Uh, you are going to look at two after cover. Okay, and you're shooting him, so it's these two. He's dead. Lock one. Okay, didn't die because he didn't do anything uh, besides roll blanks. This Mark II just died as well. Um, they moved up. We killed a stormtrooper unit this round, and that's that's, that's about all we did. We killed a couple, <clears throat> couple more. I think we killed one more of him. Uh, that's what round three. See if anything turns around for the rebels. <laughs> Going into round three, uh, Joe went with making his way in the galaxy. Boba Fett may not perform an attack during his activation. At the end of his activation, he performs an attack with only the following weapon against each enemy at range one and in line of sight. And I went with, you have something I want, which this card cannot be chosen during the first round. After object orders have been issued, choose a friendly Imperial Dark Trooper unit that has a face-up order token, remove that unit from the battlefield, keeping all tokens, and then place it on the battlefield beyond range two of all enemy units, then flip its over order token face down. So Joe obviously went with Boba. He also won the roll-off, so Boba is going to be I don't think we first. mentioned my cart couldn't move. Oh yes, Joe's cart, three, his cart moved. Couldn't, move. couldn't move. I did move. Um, I issued an order to these Dark Troopers. I actually moved the red Dark Troopers not super far. They just kind of jumped from there to there, but that's far for Dark Troopers. And then I gave the other order to Gideon himself. And uh, we're going to Joe. Okay, we'll go with Boba. He'll keep his one suppression. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually move into... We'll use our first action to move. Okay. Into base contact, which puts him in melee. Basing, okay. Which do, I can't get to add his gaffy stick because I have to only use that weapon, which is unfortunate. It is sad, yeah. Um, he gets an aim for the tactical. Tactical aim, gotcha. Um, I'm going to take another aim for my second action. Okay. And at the end of my activation, I get to do a 
uh, range one attack on everybody, which is not IG, but it's everyone else. All right, so the Dark Troopers and the Storm Troopers are going to be getting hit with a stick. Okay, I'll do the Dark Troopers first. This is a melee. Um, oh, I don't have Tenacity either. That's usually what gives you the extra dice on this. Mm. No, it's Tenacity. So it's red, red, black. Impact one, surging to crit. So um, we're crit there. We're going to impact there. I do have three health left. So. All right, I'm not going to so, do it again. Yeah, so. Impact will kick in. We'll so just risk it the one. Two. That was a double blank. All right, so that was a knocked one, so that's two wounds. And then the next one will be on, I don't know, we'll say Purple Stormtroopers. Purple Stormtroopers. We'll spend the aim. Three. three. Uh, so they will take a wound. And then the last Stormtrooper, whatever color they are. Those are just the basic white Stormtroopers. For one. All right, so no wounds there. All right, I'm gonna go with my stack. I got a heavy. We're gonna go ahead and go with the guys that moved. They're gonna take an aim and they're gonna shoot into the rebel veterans. They will get heavy cover, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we've got seven black, critical one, heavy cover with an aim into some rebel troopers. Rebel veterans, I'm sorry. Oh, man, the crits tonight. Uh, we'll spend the aim on these two. Besides my one attack, bro, it's, it's just your side. It's on all me, yep. And cover's gonna take two, we're gonna five, buddy. Look, I blocked one. Blocked one, so they're still alive. Got my stack, we've got, let's run this ATRT. He's in the aim and shoot because we have these rebel troopers that are in my arc perfectly. Or Storm troopers, troopers. You did it to me. Storm troopers out in the open. So let's see if we can kill another storm trooper. Five black dice, we're gonna crit with an aim. He's out in the open. So we got, that one's we're gonna crit. We got one blank. Let's see if we can get one more paint. One more paint. Nope. So we're gonna right, four. So four onto some storm troopers. And two go down. All right, we're going to go to the stack here. It's going to be our IG-88. I should have gone with him first and disengaged, but I forgot. That's on me. Uh, we'll take an aim, and we'll shoot into these Rebel Troopers. And we'll go to the dice box, see what happens. All right, so it's going to be three blacks, three whites with both guns. It is Pierce 1 this time. And the Rebel Troopers have no cover. Uh, not a great roll this time. <laughs> two crits again. Wish, wish I had the scope that I had to sacrifice for this list. All right, you're looking at three. Pierce 1. Three rebel troopers. So my stack, we have the other ATRT. He's gonna actually have to like move at some point here, somehow ish. No reposition on them. Not really, no. Well, we might just. It doesn't matter. We're just gonna go forward, I guess. Okay. And then we will um we'll shoot the remaining stormtroopers. Shooting at some stormtroopers. Black, black, red, surging to crit. Impact won't matter against the shot. <laughs> One crit into my light cover, stormtroopers. Fourth or fifth blank red dice. And then we'll take another Stormtrooper down. All right, going to my stack here. It's going to be a core. We'll go with the white unit here. They have their suppression from Boba's attack. They got it off. And, uh, let's see. Dungeon Rallies roll more than my defense dice do. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna take an aim, and we're going to shoot into the uh, Rebel Trooper here. I unfortunately, I can't see his compatriot back there, I don't think. But we'll shoot and see what happens. This is not a super great shot. It's just three whites, because one of my guys can't see with an aim into heavy cover. There's some crits there. Oh my god. And uh, that'll surge to a hit, but the hit will get eaten away by the cover. So one crit into your rebel trooper. He goes down, so you'll have to switch him with your Z6. Oh look, it's Gideon. He's just gonna double move. The fake Gideon. I call him Gideon. He's the fake Gideon. One, two for fun. There we go, he's done. Okay. Probably would've used his Inspire to take away the sure, why expression not? there. And uh, that'll be him. Joe, Joe should be wearing the salt crown. Probably. He just, he just won't put it on because he doesn't like it. The dice uh, have we'll it been great. All right, going to my stack here. It's another core. We'll go with the purple team that lost one to Boba. Uh, they will hold on to their suppression. Um, I don't really have a lot of options here. They're just going to take a dodge. That'll be that. And for my last turn of this game, we've got a rebel trooper. Got one suppression on them. Yeah, those off. Them. Just let him go. This is the time of the game I needed that to happen. Um, I'm gonna be in range one of the cart, right? You are, yeah. Not that he'll he'll dodge. He's gonna hunker. No, there he went. There he went. I guess I'll just dodge. Taking a dodge. 
All right, go to the stack here. It's gonna be my last Stormtrooper. He's got two suppression on him from getting shot. He doesn't roll any of them off, but he's well within the courage bubble of our dear commander. So he's just gonna move up over here so that the ATRTs have a harder time shooting him next time. All right, so I'm gonna actually go to our last remaining Dark Trooper over here. He's gonna go ahead and withdraw. So he is just gonna move right there, and that will be him. And then we'll go to our stack, and oh my God, it's him again. And this time he will take an aim and he will shoot into our rebel trooper. Yeah, because they can't get into base contact. So we'll aim and shoot him, see what happens. This is a great one black dice shot into our rebel trooper. Uh, we'll spend the aim because we need a crit. And it's nothing. All right, last thing I've got over here is going to be Gideon. He is just going to take a move just into range two here. So we'll go right in front of our dark troopers. Tactical Wild Trigger. We'll go ahead and give a name, uh, observation token to this Rebel Trooper, and then we will shoot him. All right, so Gideon's pistol is two blacks and a red. It surges to crit. Sharpshooter doesn't matter because he doesn't have any cover. He rolled off all his suppression, and my Dark Trooper didn't give him any. So he's got a dodge. I've got Pierce One. That's one crit. Pierce One. We'll spend the aim for fun. Or one, two, Pierce One. Hey, he's dead. Calling it done for the tonight. Good game, Don. Um, fun. Things went great. Um, the black dice rolled real hot, guys. Real hot. It's funny because he was on the verge of salt from one roll, and then he followed it up by wiping a full unit. And I, I mean, I wasn't. Roll. I wasn't salty. I was like blown away that you rolled that many crits of one. It's still one salt. It's dice. still salt. It's just a different kind. Just like I was after your six rolls of nothing but crits and hits. It's a lot of crits. A lot of crits rolled this game. Did did blanked. I mean. Yeah, he, he gave up. He wanted to go home. Tactically, I, mean, I would do nothing different. D Din was in a great position. He with was. With hand thing. He just rolled, what you rolled? Seven out of eight hits, and then you followed it up with, I think, six out of eight hits without a name. I did, into yeah. Din. yeah. I yeah. spent five dodges and just didn't roll any paint, so. That happens. Yep. Um, I shot at Dark Troopers the whole entire game and didn't kill a unit, so that's fun. That's with crits. That's with surging the crit. That's with impact. That's with pierce, so. That's a thing that happened. Yeah, I was a little concerned seeing the list with, with so much critical and a little bit of impact. And Crit and Pierce is, is their, their biggest enemies. So, like, all the bounty hunters with Crit and Pierce. It's too low of dice pulls. It's three dice. It's three it dice. True. It's three dice. Yeah. So if I'm throwing three dice and I'm not surging because neither have impact. That's true. It's one to two crits, so you took one damage, and then you took one damage. But they have 12 health. They, they do have 12 health. It's, 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 it's a big big pool of dice. Or a big pool a of health. Through. Um, Paul's list overall is fine. Um, a couple things that are just my play style. I don't like up close and personal on the Mandos. I know some people love it. I'm all about situational awareness on them for survivability. And then instead of Hunter, I liked, I would prefer to go with uh, Tenacity on both of them since both these Mandalorians really like they are melee, melee Mandos. Mandos, unlike a lot of the other Mandos yeah. that we see. But th those are little complaints. It's not like it's just play style. Some people love the Hunter up close personal. That's fine. Rebel Troopers, though, Ooh, if I have a hard time, and Don knows us, investing any points into Rebel Trooper units because they, they, die they just, they just die. Fast. Once you sneeze at them, they just die. Um, yeah. So the DLT was nice. Never got it off, though, because he decided to just destroy them with one shot from um, his Dark Troopers. It took two shots, Almost. sir. They didn't get to go. They did so not get to go. You just Probably. shot with the same unit twice, but yes. Um, so, yeah, never got to use the impact grenades. Range one is too hard. Um, I'm not a fan on most units with grenades in this game because you have to get so close to use them. That's true. They're hard to use. Um, Especially on an already expensive Rebel unit. The vets and the thing is fine. I like the build for those. Situation awareness and the, the CM troopers, great. Uh, fortunately, they just let me down by not rolling any kind of surges to use their critical off of. The ATRTs were good. The laser ones seemed good on paper against them, but once again, it's, it's three dice. That's the problem. So The it, laser without, should have done, I think, a little without more Without Pierce, you defended it all. I did. The retinue, I think, having that one unit ha that has retinue that hangs out there with the dodge, and that was really helpful. It's annoying. Um, so I think for Dark Troopers, you're going to need you're gonna need um, volume of dice. Like an air speeder with impact three with six dice is probably a good thing to shoot against them. Yeah. They're going to really... Surge just the crits. They're really not liking Jedi with impact pierce and surge to crit. I don't That's know how much you don't is. like Jedi. I was thinking about that. So, okay, let's say Luke runs in. Is it impact two, pierce two? Let's say you crit, let's though. say you get a surge two, so you get three through. You don't block anything. You get three through. I killed one and a half out of six units. That's true, but and a you, you rounds come of that. and you come back with two, four, six, eight dice because they each roll two dice on Luke. 
If you have the sword, you roll more. That's true. The I don't know how much... Besides Vader and Anakin, they have impact three with Search mm-hmm. if you have the cards done right, or um, Vader doesn't, but that might be a little more juicy, but... Yeah, I think the granted, impact three... If you roll great with Luke or whoever, whatever, insert Jedi name, Obi, whoever, then sure, you know, if you roll a lot of Nanny Crits or Surges, it would be good. But with just impact two against a unit with 12 health that can punch back Twice. with more dice than the Jedi have, I don't know if you want to That's run into true. that. They, these are dangerous. Because let's say let's say Luke runs up, he kills one. Let's just pretend he kills one, does damage to another, so he does three damage. And you don't have the sword kind. We won't even say you have the sword kind. That's still what? Two, four, six, eight, ten dice back at him? Yeah. Back at Luke? Ten or so it's five whites, five reds back at Luke. So you aim and you punch, and then next time you pull in the same round, you aim and you punch again. So that's twenty dice, Luke had, I just that's my part I'm concerned about. Like if they're already weakened, then yeah, Jedi runs in there and cleans them up easily. But if they're a full health unit, yeah. I don't know if you want to rush your... That's why Din was going to try to hide behind this and shoot a little bit to weaken them with the ATRT was the hope, but, I mean, as you see, he has almost the Yeah, I really like that. That setup felt nice. I think if you are ever going to be crazy and run all three, you, you run that setup where even you take the programming off, you do maybe one with programming and then two with just the Dark Trooper and the um, Assault Cannon. You can't run three heavies. It's it's two hundred and something odd points. You're looking at sinking six hundred plus points into just your. It's funny. It seemed heavies. like your activations are low, but since you activate twice, With, you still are activating me every round. That's what I thought. That's what I felt like when I was building the list. I was like at seven. I was like seven is so weak. I need to get to eight. So I kind of tweaked some things and took some stuff off to get to eight. And then I realized eight is ten. This is ten activations basically because you yeah. activate each of them twice. So you could even stick to seven. I could have had a heavy. The other heavy in the red unit had seven activations, which would have been nine activations still, and still hung in there. Granted, I do like that they're troopers, so the trooper aspect lets them move points and pick up objects and do all that stuff that other heavies can't do, which is really great. They can also be rapid reinforced, which is awesome. So if you drop them in, if you have the rapid reinforce, even if you're not using the, the two pip to drop one unit in, you can rapid reinforce another unit if you get lucky or... They, all, they can benefit from scout, from advanced position. So I think they're very flexible. They're going to be deadly, guys. Just yeah, the, the deadly. People, I think, are underestimating the native armor on a trooper unit. Not armor in full one. Full armor, yeah. Full it's armor is full bonkers. Full armor with something that gets to go twice every round. It, Possibly with retinue. You could, I could have retinue on both and just moved them up with yeah. with Gideon. Um, Gideon I've seen some I people like complaining about their dice pool's not as good as, like inserts like fully loaded tank or atst yeah but but they get but to go twice it's twice and it, these guys i mean this unit was eight black dice twice 16 black dice around this unit was what six black dice just without their range two bonus if they're in range two they add an additional two reds and a black twice or well, once because of the cycle but the cycle coming back every other activation activating twice is also fantastic so that works out really nicely yeah, the way you get to see Gideon too much in action in this one. Yeah, I, th- I think Gideon's really going to be a dark horse too because with the Darksaber, even if uh, you know your melee user comes up and tries to stop Gideon, he's got a Darksaber, he's immune pierce. He's, he's, and he rolls Mando defense. He's rolling Mando defense with the red dice search to block. It's a little interesting their defense on him because they gave him better defense than every Jedi in the game. That's true. Except for Yoda and Palp. Yeah. And then the free observation is it's kind of cute. It's very nice. It depends on when you pull him. You just get one free observation token. That's great. Um, I don't the ruth, ruthless. I think is gonna is gonna win you a game on occasion. It's gonna be that one time where you need that one extra bonus move to get a unit into place or position or something like that to perform that free action. So that's really cool. Sharpshooter and tactical one obviously always great. So. I think this is going to be what you're, you're going to see a lot of Empire, Gideon, 2 and 3. Empire with probably already the top faction with Blizzard and a couple other variations of the list. Yeah. With what we know of the rules that are coming out, what, the day after this video drops, I believe? Yeah. With suppression and how you can pick behind at any time and lose points or not hold yeah. a point or drop a thing. That's... is going to be big for Krennic Death Trooper list. And then you're going to have Blizzard still being good and you're going to have this. So yeah. Empire... <laughs> And the dark troopers also are immune to suppression. Yes. They don't even. So they don't it's even not even like a that. droid where they still get suppression. And it just doesn't do anything. They're immune to it. So. So yeah. They will never drop a box. They will never abandon a position. If you're an empire player, you're loving life right now. 
Um, I think they're definitely You're flying high. clearly on top of the factions at the moment. Yeah. Um, Rebels, people were saying the Dark Troopers were going to push the Rebels a little bit lower, and I didn't see it until now. The, when you, a lot of Rebel lists have heroes, mm-hmm. name people, or some special forces mixed in there, but they don't have the high dice pools, which I think yeah. is what you need to kill Dark Troopers. Dark Troopers are going to need big, big dice pools. Um, so that's a little concerning. I think I think the Ion Spiders in uh, in the Separatists had they not been nerfed, they would be a big resurgence against these because that'd be good. But now being so expensive, it's a hard sell to pull those out. Yeah, but I think at Adepticon there is going to be a boatload. I mean, there's always that new Dark thing Super. where it's uh, any tournament. Even going back to we used to play X Wing 1.0 back in the day. Um, anytime there was a new release and then a big tournament followed. It's the new shiny thing, so a lot of people yeah. bring it regardless. Um, and every, this new shiny thing is good. Yeah, every tournament I ever went to, though, I was always like, I prepped for the the face the big shine the big new meta lists, and I would never face it. I would always face like some weird random lists, and I'd be like, ah, oh, I didn't prepare for any of this, and I would lose. I'm a great loser, though, guys. I wear a crown and everything, but uh, I don't wear crowns. I really appreciate all of the comments that we got on the last video. I know that I was a bonus entry because I was sick. I was in the hospital. It was not fun. Uh, I appreciate all of you saying how much you miss me. Um, Joe did not appreciate how much most of you miss me over him, but that's okay because we still love Joe. I gave him, I gave, <laughs> I gave him the keyword last the key week. Word. I wanted to But it, it, it warmed my heart, and I love responding to all of you people saying, you know, to get well, and I, I appreciate that. So it was great. But hopefully I will not be wounded or anything. Um, I don't need to wear the solid crown this time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Joe, I just, I just Joe think... Joe does deserve it. I just think... Um, I think Din's very good. I think I just had poor defensive it was, roles. It was, bad, it was bad roles for Din. I've had many good games with Din. But, um, yeah. I play him a lot at the game store recently every week as well. He's kind of a new favorite of yours. I do love Din. Um, Din is the only six health main one you can get in the game, which makes him really nice. Grogu's latent powers is nice, but you don't count on it. It just hits when it hits. Yeah. Um, weirdly enough, I use it a lot when I'm out in the open, and I, I Grogu, and if I get a blank, then I get um, light cover. Yeah, it's nice. Um, or a block, I should say. Boba Fett, though, he, he's a weird one still. I'm still cracking him. He's... He's very um, yeah. That this annoying is, with the Inuit standby for people to have to go like he didn't move this, his idea. Yes, this is my first time playing against Boba, Rebel Boba Fett, and that is very annoying because I, I had to make that decision with IG to not move because obviously Joe didn't see it until I pointed it out, but he could have just triggered the standby and shot my my dark troopers and done even more wounds to them before activating. The so. issue I have with Boba is he is a less offensive version of the Empire Boba, more melee focused, but still only four dice, and there's no, there's no like, lethal or duelist or yeah, anything you, there. I wish the Gaffy Stick had something. Fierce so it's, or it's not or... the best yeah. melee, and then he's also a speed two instead of a three, and a jump one instead of a two. So he's he's an interesting spot where he's not offensively based. He wants to shoot you from afar, moving his steel of bounty because he's in hand bounty. He's not like Din or who can get into melee easier, quicker because of his speed three and be able to hit you hard with, I don't know, what's the spear dice, but we have, it's two reds, two blacks. Uh, so it's two reds and three blacks. Two reds, three blacks. So it's very similar to this dice pool, four versus five, but it comes with lethal one and dual, so you can have up to pierce two with that, which makes a big difference. In my opinion. It makes a huge difference. Um, and his arsenal two is like 90% of the time wasted because you either crack your flamethrower to use it or you bring one of Boba's old cards, yeah. which usually in a lot of Rebel lists you're already competing for card use. I feel like if they had given his E11 versatile, that would have been that nice. Would if have, he that would make if arsenal he would have been 100% a lot like more like yeah. Um, I'm not saying he's bad. I still like him yeah. and I'm still trying to crack him a little bit better. I just think he's in a more interesting spot for the fact that He's not super offensive, and he's slower than most Mandos, so he's not the best objective grabber either. Mm-hmm. The Sentinel thing is very cute, and it is it is a deterrent sometimes from it people is a doing big stuff. Deterrent. I think it is actually very... So I like that. The Sentinel shines the best when you're in melee already, and someone does something, so you can just get a free whack on something, because yeah, they can't really get that's it off. Really important. But the hard thing is for the Speed 2 to get into melee early enough for have that Sentinel Without crack. charge or... Re- yeah, no charge or relentless. Yeah. His um, one pip is very interesting. It's great when you're shooting from afar and you play it this game, but... It, it's it's just a weird one pip, I feel like. His three pip, the roll of respect can be very good if you have a gun line with you. That's when you get to add the black dice to everything. Mm-hmm. The two pip is good, but I feel like I just don't know why they nerfed it compared to others. Like, I'll give you an example, guys. Grievous can do the spinny trick thing, and he doesn't have to not attack again. And he can, you know, do yeah. his tricks. He can attack and then do his spinny Yeah, thing. you have IG-11 who can 
use the dice and shoot from around. It, it's just the fact that you can't add, uh, like, his gaffy stick with it, or you can't attack during the round, and you're just stuck to that one attack with three dice. It's a little disappointing. Right. And it doesn't give you an aim. It doesn't, it doesn't give, give you anything, yeah. yeah. Uh, I get it. You get sharp, you get tactical, so you can move in and use it. Right. And if you're in melee and you have tenacity and you're injured, you can get one extra dice, one attack. But it's not a bad two-bit by any means. It's decent, and it has its moments, but it's not, it's not great. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's my thoughts on Boba and Din. I think I've talked about Boba Din enough, but I think Boba's good. I just think, I wish when they first talked about when they said there's going to be some upgrade cards you can add to get Arsenal 2, and the yeah, only one really we got was the Flamethrower flame one. They said that on the painting channel forever ago, and then when we only had the Flamethrower, I was hoping for, like, the knee rockets or something, even if it was, like, a one-time tap thing, just something else yeah. to give him a couple more versatile weapons with to go along with that, yeah. um, the, the Arsenal 2. And unfortunately, he also is only Sharpshooter 1 versus 2 on the, on, you know, Empire Boba, so... Yeah. Once again, not as offensive, but not even as... The only thing he does better than offensive Boba, or Old Boba, is uh, melee. He's much better melee than... He's than Empire Boba. Old Boba is just two dice. Old Boba is the better objective grabber, and he's the better long-range killer. Yeah. Just being honest. And he's got a bounty. And he's got a bounty. Um, I don't have bounty. No. Nope. Nope. You just got the shinier armor, bro. But... I didn't put the crown on. There's the crown. I'm wearing the First crown. time. I, I'm now not salty anymore, but I should have probably put it on a little earlier. Um, yeah, that's Legion. Yeah, it was a great game, guys. Sometimes, you know, your dice go well. Uh, I know some people in the comments hate when me or Don blame dice, but sometimes, sometimes... This game had a lot of dice swinginess to it, so there was... Sometimes there was you that, read Search sure. Defense Mandalorian blanks, uh, what I, I think I rolled two blocks and 11 dice. Mm -hmm. That's it, paint-wise, right, for him, I think it was? It was pretty bad. Because the dodges saved me a little bit, or I would have yeah. died out turn earlier. Anyways, um... But then I had that really stupid attack with the Rebel Troopers with, like, six crits. But that was it. I think that was my only golden that was attack. Your, yeah, that was your big one. But that was a big attack. It was. It was. Unfortunately, it killed only half the unit, and that unit is still alive with one health on the yeah. board by the end of the game. I did think of a fun, cute thing. Like, if you were playing a different objective, you could use this two-pip card to take your 210-point unit leader with one health left and put him right here. And that's 210 points you saved if you're winning the game. Or if you're close to tying the game. They're expensive. I, I don't think they're overcost costing means. I think they no, have they, to be this expensive. They have to be this for expensive. For the fact they can activate they are, twice. They, they are can grab objectives. Worth it too. They have full armor. And I mean, you didn't do it this one besides Gideon, but you could throw like an Imperial Officer or a Stormtrooper with a spot. You can throw things even buff them more. So here's some free aims to go with your dice. Or yeah. you dodge as you're moving. Yeah, that would be good. Whatever. Um, I, didn't, I also didn't get to play the fun little... Um, a uh, fire support card that was going to be next round if we played another round, but there was it, it's round. you have to put stuff in the list to make the fire support good because there's not you, you want something that like he they fire support well with Gideon because he's got the search to crit. to crit. I think your the best fire, fire, your best two is okay with the stormtroopers. I think they it's to hit. IG88. IG88 is fantastic. If he's shooting the bounty after he plays one pip, so let's say you play the one pip like Don did uh, round two, mm -hmm. where Boba couldn't spend any tokens, and then round three you play the fire support, so then IG. Shoots in with Surge to crit, Sharpshooter 1, you can't spend any tokens, here's a whole bunch of dice. Yeah, here's, here's, what, it's three blacks, three whites for IG, and then eight more blacks if you have the That's full it. unit alive. The other really good option the Empire nine. has, I think, is going to be Boba Fett, Real, because yeah. it's Sharpshooter 2 with Surge to crit. Sharpshooter 2 Surge to crit with the fire support like that would be insanely good. So I think both those are going to be your best options. The and sad all, once part again, is, is, he's much more expensive than IG-88. They both want a bounty, so if you can fire support ideally into a bounty, you're probably going to uh -huh. get it most of the time, Yeah, which is nice. Um, yeah, I just... It's it's going to be balancing the cost of this the army against it. Like, what you fill the rest of it with is going to be interesting to see what that secret sauce is. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek at the troopers now that we had all the preview articles out so we knew all the cards in them. We like to do that to give you guys an early taste. Of course, once they're officially out, we'll get them, paint them up, and get them on the channel more. Um, Patreons, keep submitting your list if you're still watching. Yes. Thanks. Um, also, if you guys would like some of your Patreons, I know you guys haven't had your list played in a while or if at all yet. Um, the issue we're having is that um, out of like all you guys, I think we had more than like 65% of you submitted an Empire list at yeah, least, if do, not we more. We still have seven Empire lists, one Separatist. Now we, have, we do have one Rebel now. So it, as well that's as why team, so. when I mentioned in the chat, the commander chat, if someone picks something that's not an Empire list, I'll play it tonight. And Paul made this Rebel list, so I played it because we can't just have Empire on all the time. Yeah. I will bring Gar next week because I haven't brought the Gar in a while. And um, they also got a point in decrease recently. I mean, I might even be spicy bringing the pile first. Maybe I'll let you commanders decide in the chat. With that said, 
Hope you guys enjoy the big slave one ship. Boba Fett's on. He's he's jumping back in in Dragon Mando, and you just can't see it, so that way they can get the heck out of here. <laughs> this did not go well. Yeah. Have a good night, guys. Little Grogu choking's on the ground crying. Yeah, we're gonna bring him too. He's fine. He was just snapping. He's he just, just tired. He's he a lot of power with his hand thing. Little nappy guy. Have a good night, guys. Bye, guys.